Okay, seriously. I enjoy concerts as much as the next person. But when half the audience is comprised of the band, that's crazy. Chicago, Earth, Wind, and Fire. What? You're like the entire state of Louisiana is up on stage with you. Those redonkers. I just don't get it. It's amazing. And it's a cacophony of sound. And if you don't know that word, look it up. It's just too much. Too much muchness. Okay? And also, can we bring up, no one in the world has ever said, I wish that drum solo was longer. No, no one has said it, but you did it like five times. Seriously, your drum solo was so long, we actually watched someone have birth, the child grew up, and went to college. Came back and you were still riding your Zildjian cymbal. Come on, no one cares. We're there to see people sing, which brings me to my final point. Play your hits. I did not show up to hear your B-sides. If I wanted that, I would go to YouTube. No, sitting in the audience for a three-hour concert when you play two of your hits, when you have like 50, what's up with that? Seriously, play your hits. And specifically here, I'm going to call out Daryl Hall and John Oates. You may not know who they are, but we went to see you last year, and that still ranks as one of the worst concerts I have ever seen. And let me share with you the opening sentence that either Hall or Oates, mustache or not, yelled out to the conference. <laughs> concert. Hey, everybody, thank you for coming tonight. We'd like to let you know we'd really prefer to play some of our B-sides and rarities tonight, so enjoy! And everyone clapped and loved it. Did no one ever. Thank you. Fogger out.